very good morning children today let's start a new chapter in science so let's start learning our last chapter chapter 12 the sky above us so when you look up in the sky during the daytime what all can you see you can see the sun the clouds and during night what you can see you will be able to see the moon stars and so on right so today we are going to learn more about the sun moon and the stars so you all know we live on the planet earth the earth has land water and air and also it is home for all kinds of living things so when you look up at the sky it looks blue in color right do you know why it looks blue here you can see the earth is covered by a layer of air so here you can see in this picture the earth the outer layer it's covered with a layer of air and this layer of air during daytime appears blue looks blue due to the sunlight so again i'll tell you so this layer of air looks blue during the daytime due to the sunlight now let's learn more about the sun you know the sun is a star and also it is a huge ball of fire it keeps on burning all the time and it gives us light and heat so what did we learn about the sun the sun is a star it is a huge ball of fire and it gives us heat and light and the heat and light from the sun reaches the earth so during daytime you know that we have sunlight and where do we get that we get it from the sun so the sun gives us heat and light plants also need sunlight you know that the plants prepare food and you know how they prepare food they need sunlight to prepare food so what will happen if sun was not there plants will not be able to make food and there will be no food on the earth so sun is very important to us right the sun is the closest star to the earth so we already learned that the sun is a star now we are going to learn that the sun is the closest star to the earth so there are many stars when you look up in the sky you can see many stars but these stars are very far away from us so they appear small the sun is near to us it's closer to the earth so it looks big so i'll show you some examples to make it more clear here look at this picture in the first picture a you can see three balls and you can see that the three balls are arranged nearby and it appears same in size so look at the second picture here the balls are arranged one after another so the first ball looks big and look at the last ball it looks small right do you know why it is these balls are of the same size but the first ball is near to us so it looks big and the last ball is far away from us so it looks small i'll show you one more example see the aeroplane aeroplane when it is on the ground or it's in the airport you can see the aeroplane in its actual size it looks big but how does it look when it flies up in the sky it looks very small right do you know why because it's so far away from us that is the reason the aeroplane looks small in the same way the sun is the closest star to the earth that is why it looks big so hope now it's clear to you next let's learn about the moon so when do you find the moon usually at night time when you look up at the sky you can see the moon right so let's learn about the moon the moon is the brightest and largest object in our night sky so what is the moon it is the brightest and largest object in our night sky the moon has no light of its own so where does the moon get its light from the light from the sun falls on the moon and makes it look bright so what did we learn about the moon the moon is the brightest and largest object in our night sky it has no light of its own so the light from the sun falls on the moon and makes it look bright 
So what is the shape of the moon? It looks round like a ball. But every day it is not round like a ball. You know why? Because when we see the brighter side of the moon, it looks round like a ball. But some days only a part of the bright side is seen. Then we cannot see the moon in its round size. So here you can see the moon in its different sizes. Here in this picture, can you see the moon? No. But here you can see a small part of it. Again, you can see a little more bigger part of it. So this is called the faces of the moon. So that is all about the chapter sky above us. Now let's move on to our exercises. So you have an activity in your textbook, page number 95. So let's see what it is. Take two metal spoons. Place one spoon in the sun and the other in the shade. After some time, feel the spoons. So what you have to do? You have to take two metal spoons and you need to place one spoon in the sun and the other in the shade. And after some time, you just feel the spoons. So this activity you can do at your home. Next one, page number 97. Go outside at night and look at the moon. Draw the shape of the moon you see. After seven days, observe the moon again. Does it look the same? Draw the shape of the moon you see. So what you have to do? Go outside, look at the moon and draw its shape. And again, after seven days, observe the shape of the moon and you can draw it here. Let's move on to our exercises. So I suggest you read the chapter two times and let's move on to our exercises. So let's do the exercises. The first one, Tick the correct word to complete each sentence. And what is the first question? The sun is a options large moon, star, large ball. So the sun is a, you can do it on your own. Second one, the sun gives us options light and sound, air and light. Third one, light and heat. So what does the sun gives us? You can tick it over there. Third one, the sun looks bigger than the other stars because it is the closest star, the biggest star, far away. And the fourth one, the sky looks blue during the day because of clouds, sunlight, wind. So now let's check our answers. The first question, the sun is a star. So hope you have done the correct answer. Second one, the sun gives us light and heat. Third one, the sun looks bigger than the other stars because it is the closest star. The fourth one, the sky looks blue during the day because of sunlight. Let's look at the second question. Given below are pictures of the moon on different nights. Answer the questions that follow. So here, the picture of moon are given on different nights. Now there are some questions. What is the first question? Does the moon look the same on all nights? Yes or no? So you can observe and do the answer. Now look at the second one. Does the moon change its shape? Yes or no? And the third one. Does the moon look round on some nights? Yes or no? So observe the night sky and you can answer these questions. So the next we have answered these questions. Let's look at the first question. So what does it? What does the sun give us? So what does the sun gives us? The sun gives us heat and light. So you can write it here in the space provided in the text itself. So the sun gives us heat and light. Moving on to the second question. Why is the sky blue? So the answer is the earth is covered by a layer of air. This layer of air looks blue during the daytime due to the sunlight. Third question, which is further away from us? The sun or the stars? So which is far away from us? The stars are far away from us. So we can write here, the stars are further away from us. Let's move on to the higher order thinking skills. So here we have a picture. Complete the passage with the help of the pictures. So here, let's see the, so what is it? This is the sun. So here you have to write sun. So the sun is a star. It is round like a ball. It gives out light and heat. The sun is bigger than the moon. 
Now let's write the answers. So you can write here, the sun is a star. It's round like a ball. It gives out light and heat. The sun is bigger than the moon. Next we have the value based question. So let's look at the questions. Life exists on the earth because of the sun, water and air. The sun gives us heat and light. Tick the correct statements. So two statements are given. We have to tick the correct statements. So what all are the statements given? The first one, we should wear sunglasses when we go out in the sun. And the second one, morning sunlight is good for our body. So let's see the answers. We should wear sunglasses when we go out in the sun. So that statement is correct. And the second one, morning sunlight is good for our body. That statement is also correct. So both the statements are correct. Next we have the project zone. So let's read that. The moon is smaller than the stars. Why does it look bigger? Find out. Things you will need. A ball, a marble. Place a marble and a ball on the table. Which looks bigger? Now pick up the marble and move 10 steps away from the table. Close one eye. Bring the marble closer to the other eye and at the same time look at the ball. The marble appears bigger than the ball. Do you know why? It is because the marble is closer to you than the ball. In the same way, the moon looks bigger because it is closer to us. The stars are very far from us and so they look very small. So you can do this project in your home with a marble and a ball and find out. Next, we have an activity. Observe the sky and write down the time when the first star is visible to you. So when do you see the stars? During the night, right? So what you have to do, you need to observe the sky and write down the time when the first star is visible to you. So when you see the first star, at what time do you see it? Write down the time. So this is the activity for you in this chapter. And with this, we finish our chapter, The Sky Above Us. So that's all for today. We'll be meeting in the next class. Till then, thank you.